Hi, I'm Dave Bergman, Vice President of International Relations for IPC, and I have this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. This week's question comes from a member uh, and related to lifted lands. And the, t the subject of lifted lands, specifically asking questions related to the printed board specs IPC 6012 and 600. And so we have these three specs that we really need to pay attention to when trying to give some guidance to the person asking this question. Now, what we have here is the photograph that was submitted by the member company. Uh, and they indicated uh, in showing this image, and what you're looking at here is what, what appears to be, it is a microsection, but it appears to be a cross-section of a surface mount land uh, with solder uh, paste on it that's been reflowed. And the member was trying to get some kind of indication as to whether that's acceptable per the requirements of uh, IPC A600. Because you can see there is lift. Uh, here's the land itself. There is lift and there's separation under that land. And the member's trying to call out a specification paragraph in 6, 600 uh, uh, on the acceptability of lifted lands. So we then want to look and say, well, what does 600 talk about in lifted lands? Now, in reality, uh, most of the information in the uh, specifications are talking about plated through holes. We're trying to get some guidance for a surface mount land from some of the comments in the 600 on uh, plated through holes. So this is paragraph 332 on cross sections, and it shows at the top level the target condition where there is no lift of the land off of the uh, laminate and then being acceptable uh, in, uh, for all classes with the bottom two photographs where there is lift. However, the caveat is that these conditions exist after a reworked simulation or thermal stress. So the member is saying, well, I've got solder on my solder pad. Is that the same as uh, reworked simulation, uh, um, rework simulation or solder float? We have another paragraph in the 600, which also shows that the uh, target condition uh, is no lift, and there's an indication that there, uh, if, it's, if it is ripped up in that where there isn't any solder exposure or thermal stress, it's not acceptable. So the member says, I've got solder. Maybe that's the same as a rework simulation or solder flow. What does IPC have to say on that? In reality, we can't really answer his question as such. It's not a plated through hole, it's a surface mount land. It hasn't been, it's been exposed to solder, but it hasn't been exposed to a thermal stress or rework simulation, which is the requirement in the printed board spec. So we really can't compare apples to apples in this case, where the solder paste on a surface mount land, it can't be absolutely defined as a reworked simulation or uh, solder flow. So to provide some guidance for the member, we tried to go and then look at 610 because it certainly doesn't uh, uh, match the requirements of 600. We need to look at an assembly condition. So we look in 610 in this paragraph 10292. It indicates that, uh, again, the target is no lift. But there is an allowance of acceptability of a, uh, of a land up to or, or less than one pad thickness or one land thickness uh, in the resulting assembly. Okay, then looking at our original photo, we see that indeed there is not a separation of more than one time the land thickness. This is the land thickness here, here is the separation. But it's really unclear from a microsection how far in this uh, separation truly goes. Is the land almost completely separated? So we really need more information in this particular case. It's clear that the answer of acceptability or not acceptability is not going to be defined by 600 and 6012. They would indicate that this is uh, a not acceptable condition. If we then to go to look at the assembled area to see whether this might be acceptable, we really need some more information. It's meeting the one-half pad thickness or less than one pad thickness, but uh, we need to see more visual requirements. So in this case, we pointed to our 
member to 610 and with a request for further information and clarification as to what the surface condition looks like. So that's this week's Technical Question of the Week. If you have a question you'd like us to discuss, please send it to answers at ipc.org.